Well, here we are at the start of the track. Six days to the lost city from here. Um, it's very hot and humid here in the jungle at the moment, but I'm sure it's going to get worse. Um, what else? I expect to be bitten by mosquitoes, be wet, have soaking t-shirts. What else? Be rained on. So I'm really looking forward to it. Should be great, but some good scenery along the way, I hope. So let's go and enjoy the next six days and see what the walk's like. Well, that's a little more than the first hour into the walk to the Lost City. It doesn't get much hotter than this. Just imagine being at a gym, it's 40 degrees outside and all the windows are closed. That's how it feels. Pretty damn hot. Well, it's morning of day two. That is where we slept last night. Can't say it was too comfortable. But very close proximity with your partner. Um, and it took me about four hours to how to work out how to be comfortable in the hammock. So hopefully tonight it'll be better. So today, I think we've only got four hours worth of working and uh, through some more rainforest. Hopefully it doesn't rain. There'll be lots of mud. And, um, yeah, I think it, I'm feeling it's going to be better than yesterday, so let's cross our fingers. Ciao. And I'll ask Leon, like, it's his first night on the trail, and how did you sleep in the hammock? Yeah, rat shit, mate. Yeah? <laughs> Why do we hit, have to hit the road, Rachel? It's raining, it's going to rain. Again? Yes, again. Well, you're not going to believe this. It's 9.40 in the morning, we're high in the mountains on day two, and it's so much cloud it feels like five o'clock in the afternoon so when you think about walking to the lost city I think you know, there's lots of mud here it's the opportunity to be taken by gorillas like they did in 2003 here gorillas came in took eight hostages held them to ransom to help get some international attention for the cause here in Colombia. So, what two things, you're either wet from sweat, or wet from rain, or wet from both. Okay, see you soon, ciao. Gianpaolo, my friend, how are you enjoying the tour so far? Está buenísimo todo. Como? Todo está muy bueno. <laughs> bueno, eh, por favor, eh, frío y mojado. <laughs> Wet and cold. <laughs> you have to speak English for my amigo friends. Uh, <laughs> so tell me. I remember like uh, when I was in a school camp. <laughs> <laughs> but, but seriously, like. Uh, well, we are about to, to get to the lost city of the Tairona people. Fantastic. And, and did you sleep well last night? Sorry? Did you sleep well last Perfect. night? Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Like what a little kid. And yeah, what time do you go to bed? 8.30. And what time yeah. do you wake up? Horror. <laughs> Two more. Sí, mañana. Sí, hacemos un recorrido aquí y luego todo. How was the river crossing, Rach? Oh, Why? What happened? I couldn't get on the thing and then I couldn't get off. Really? Yeah. Well, it's rained again. I'm a little bit wet again. And we're climbing up another mountain. It seems to be up one mountain, down the next. Up one mountain, down the next. So if you love mountain climbing, it's fantastic. If you don't, it starts to give you the shit up. Okay, what's going down to you, members? Uh, not much. Not much? I'm making a coffee, do you want Yeah, have a latte. Okay. One sugar, please. Muffins. Yeah. Muffins. Muffins. I'll go blueberry. Blue. We have arrived. This is it. 
the lost city and the staircase. I tell you what, there's a lot of stairs. Over 2,000 stairs up here. So, up here, we should have all the structures and be able to tell you a bit more about that in a minute. Well, here we are at the top of um, the lost city or Ciudad uh, Perdida in Spanish. And uh, what you can see down there is the two temples that were built here. Just imagine two temples going up here in the middle of the jungle. And this civilization was around between 700 years after Christ and they sort of left here when the Spanish arrived in 1550. So they had a really long reign of 800 years or so. What we find here is another construction level down there. And this is part of a wall that was buried when they built up um, this terrace to reach this level. Well, it's uh, the second last day of our track around uh, the Lost City. We're leaving Lost City today. We had to stay two nights instead of one because of the rain. And um, yes, we had 30 people sleeping in this little cabin behind me last night. It was nice and cosy. Some people didn't get some sleep, some people did. So let's go and have a chat to people and see how they're feeling this morning. So, Palito. Polito. Polito. How did you sleep? Terrible. Yeah? What was it like for you? Like being in a fridge. In a fridge? Yeah. Cold. Very cold. Celine, did you sleep? <laughs> Sound, yeah, like and, how, yeah. and how was the Frenchman? <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he live up to expectations? I have, have, the, have, have, the, have the French. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go, mate? Yeah, too much snoring, mate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> our Venezuelan. No, no, no. no, I, no, no I, I could hear you snore. No, 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 no this it wasn't it, me. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't the, the guy next to me. No, let, let me do, do it for you. This, this, this is what you do. <laughs> you do that, <laughs> when you, and then you go, oh. I actually heard a little bit of snoring last night, not as much as before, so I'm going to defend. Yeah, did, did you, did you, did you, did you that? Yes, I got that. Yeah, yeah. I heard a little bit of snoring. Because I, 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 away, because I, I almost didn't sleep. Yeah. But there Vanessa? was another guy. I think you're right. There was some other baby. snoring. Yeah. I didn't hear any snoring, yeah. although I did get yeah. woken up by a French <laughs> <laughs> We're now deep within the jungle of Colombia and almost coming to the end of the tour but this is probably the most exciting part where we get to uh, go to a cocaine factory. It's very isolated in this area, so many people, but uh, we're being taken by the master to uh, the cocaine factory. So it should prove to be quite interesting and hopefully we get a doggy bag to take away. So, let's go and have a look. Well, here we have the lab. Nothing like the sanitarium or laboratory, but uh, it's Colombian style. Wow. Uh, that's, that's what he's gonna put now in the water with the cocaine. It's part of the process. And on top, it's gonna be the rest of salt, cow, and the gasoline. And the thing that is filtrating is the water, the cocaine, and the acid. So it's just the pure concentrate we're getting yeah. now. We're getting closer, man. Mm. Well, is there some kind of closer to a good time. How you feel today, knowing that you triumphantly <laughs> conquest all the cr uh, river crossing that we encounter? I think that, like at first, when we first did all the river crossings on, um, I think that was day three, it was actually quite hard for me because um, it was raining and the river was quite strong and I was quite nervous with my foot wobbling around in the water and, but today it was like, oh okay, I think I've got a lot better at this and um, I was much more confident and I think, you know, I will go away with that, that being an achievement in itself. So. Yeah, I feel pretty happy about that. It's not something that you do at home, and I think that um, it's something that I've managed to do. It was Gianpaolo Giuliari for BBC News. Hagamos todos una bandera con manos negras, una bandera con